do anywhere from five to six pieces, including the start, 10 to 15 high, and 20 shift. So that's gonna be the bulk of our work, hard work, but in between uh, meeting up, we're gonna be doing some drill work, okay? Pay okay, particular attention to the time your blade's spending in the water, ladies. Let's make sure we're keeping it buried. Watch the release come out on the square. We look forward to the Longhorn uh, first to kick off the season, to get some races under our belt, but more importantly, to get a good momentum going with the athletes. So prior to the Longhorn during our spring training, we're running selection. So we're, you know, no seat is just given to an athlete. They earn it. They earn each and every seat that they have. And so when we finally get to race and put it on a line, especially in a dual format, it's so rewarding to come out on top. Lay back into the wind, create that rhythm as a crew. And remember, just because you have your feet out doesn't mean you cut your leg out, right? Strong cores can support a layback. So really tap into that core, making sure that it's engaged. Brace the wind. We're going to see it on race day. And we just want to accept it. Deal with it. Be bigger than it. Be better than it. Be better than the crew you're racing. format, it's neck and neck. So you may not know who's won the race, even once you cross the line, because it could be that tight. And so now on the flip side, if you really get out ahead and you're definitely the front runner in the race in a dual format, you can see the crew that you're beating, right? I mean, just as much as not knowing if it's tight competition, neck and neck to the line, when you are defeating someone with um, such strength, you can feel it, you can see it. You can see your competition in the horizon. And winning a race like that is, we refer to it as a horizon job, pushing them along, um, is also just as rewarding. With the legs, with the legs, less upper body, pop the legs, crack the knees, just to crack, ladies. So maybe even close your eyes here and feel your seat moving underneath you into the catch. Try to feel when that seat's stopping and sense if the blade's already buried. There's going to be some tough competition this season at the Longhorn. We, of course, have our rivalry with OU. Um, we may or may not see them the way that we're doing seating this year. It's going to be bracket style, so uh, we have Yale coming down as well. So it really just depends. Our first race will dictate who we race, you know, going forward. But at the end of the day, it's all about the athletes putting all their hard work to the test. Whoever is on the line next to us, to be honest, it doesn't matter because we can't control them. All we can control is what we do in that boat, what each of those athletes do in that seat, and where we come across that line. Having that dual format, having that neck and neck race is certainly setting us up for what we're going to see at conference. When you start getting up against the top crews in the country, it's, it's down to the wire. And you want it that way. You want the competition to be tight, to be better prepared.